This weather report brought to you by Sportsbet. Make it a multi with Sportsbet. Gamble responsibly. The supermarket race to win over Queensland customers has hit the fast lane with a new Uber-style grocery service. It's promising to deliver your shopping in under an hour. It could be the regular staples or a last-minute gift. Groceries picked, packed and piled into a car all against the clock. So it's 4,000 products delivered straight to your door in under 60 minutes. Woolworths joining forces with Uber for its Metro 60 service. It's already been a success south of the border. So anybody that's got a really busy lifestyle, it just works out really well for them. The delivery process would definitely... I find it appealing. Now it's expanding across southeast Queensland. We're actually rolling out to 70 suburbs in the Gold Coast and Brisbane. The cost? $5 for a grocery run with a minimum spend of $20. Rival Coles is taking to the sky with its drone service covering four suburbs. For a bigger shop, it also offers 90-minute rapid home delivery. People are looking to get their groceries anytime, anywhere, anyhow. Aldi says its focus remains solely on in-store shops. Shopping. These fast delivery services are just another battleground in the supermarket wars as retailers try to lure customers with what's convenient or cheap. Our customers are becoming more and more demanding in these ways and we want to be there to service that demand. New ways to save time and money. Garth Burley, 7 News. With the time now, here's Paul Burt. Thanks for that, Maxie. Hello, everybody. What a sensational end to the working week. And tomorrow for your Saturday, looking absolutely brilliant. Unless you're in the far north, you just be aware there's some flood warnings in play. We'll get into that shortly. Let's take a look at temperatures across the southeast today. We're at climbed to highs of 33 degrees in the western districts around Ipswich, uh, 30 degrees in the city, and about 29 coastal, Gold Coast, however, 27 due to that sea breeze. As you take a look to the charts now, you can see that uh, low depression sitting up in the Gulf, obviously dropping a lot of rain and bringing some storm activity to the far northern tropics. It's uh, forecast to bring up to 200 millimetres around Cairns for the next several days. However, we might even see a little bit more under some of those cells. Further south, though, we're going to see partly dry, uh, cloudy conditions, staying quite dry. Light winds as a high-pressure system moves through. Bit of a change for the far southern nation as well, the cooler change for the southern majors. As you take a look around the nation now, that means a much cooler day, 15 degrees less than, uh, than what it was today for Melbourne, only 23, down to 17 overnight. Uh, for the uh, Sydney region, it's going to be a mostly uh, sunny day, 21 to 31. However, some storms forecasts for Canberra, 35, and clear skies for Adelaide. Back to the tropics now, a couple of showers and storms moving through from Mount Isa through to Cairns and Townsville. Partly cloudy around Mackay with a high of 30 degrees. Further south, same dry from Rockhampton through to Harvey Bay and also down around Gympie, uh, 17 to 22. On the range, ties are 31 degrees, clear skies and a really hot high of 38 for Roma. Back home in the southeast, great conditions to start your weekend. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, clear skies for those around Ipswich, highs of 33, down to 17 overnight. 18 to 31 for Logan on the coastal stretch, a little bit cooler due to that sea breeze. So around 29 to 30, the average high, down about 19 to 20 overnight. On the water, southeast northeast winds, that means light winds early with an afternoon nori sea breeze, looking great. 10 knots, seas less than a metre. In the city, 20 to 31 and sunny, looking like a great Saturday. In fact, it's going to hold steady into Sunday with a high of 31 degrees, and then we might just see a late shower into Monday, breaking up on Tuesday with showers returning through to Thursday in 29. Ipswich, uh, beautiful for Sunday, uh, top of 32 degrees, a shower late on Monday into Tuesday. And the Gold Coast, very similar, Sunday looking stunning, 30 degrees, showers from Monday to Friday, and similar for the Sunshine Coast with a high of 30 degrees. Let's check the waterways for tomorrow, everybody. On the surfing scene, if you're keen to get out there, gee, what a day it was today. A little bit of cloud pushing through in the afternoon. The surf is small. It collapsed out. It's less than a metre. But still fun if you've got the mount. Outside points, boiling pot, granite tea tree around Noosa National. You can try down around Alex and just the open beach. It's nice and early with light winds to start with. Gold Coast, TOS and D-Bar, definitely worthwhile. Water temper, comfy, 26 degrees. It's going to be just as beautiful inside as it is outside. A little bit of heat in the west, though. So. On the fishing scene, loads are flat at about, if you're keen to try those. Try the lower reaches of the Noosa, Mooloola, also around Gold and Green Bank at the Jump of Pin, Crab sad. Island down in the Broad Water. Thank you for that. Ryan Vines from Captain's Charters. Good luck. Thanks, Bertie, and that is all from us this Friday. Thanks for your company. From all the team, have a good night. Good night.